everybody, it is I, Angel Star 291 here yet again, and this time with part 17 of my let's of my Sonic Heroes Let's Play, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> In the last part, we started Team Rose and bullshitted our way through. In this part, we're gonna continue bullshitting. Is Casino Park still considered my least favorite with Team Rose? Yeah, but I don't care. It's still easy shit, so I don't care. Really. Oh, I can't believe he did that just so he could get away. Mr. Sonic must be really... Really? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> now I know what to do. Find Eggman and I'll find my Sonic. You all ready? This city reminds me of Casino Opolis. Look at all those neon signs! The city that never sleeps. <laughs> Big, and you have to make an adult joke right there. Seriously, Big made an adult, adult joke there. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah. There's not, I don't know why there are no enemies here. Easy mode, whatever. Um, but anyway, it is the same thing as Team Sonic, except shorter and much easier. What I mean by stay from my team dark is because that there are no enemies. Duh. <laughs> of course. But anyway, it's the same thing, so I'm not gonna explain anything. Um, but anyway, um, I'm gonna talk about something. Um, I didn't finish talking about Big. I was actually trying to finish talking about Big, but I never did. Um, Big, from what I heard of, is voiced by John St. John. I, I think that was his name. And from what I heard of, he voiced Duke, Duke Nukem or something? I'm not sure if that's true or not. I mean, you guys can tell me if that's true. I don't know, really. I never played any of Duke Nukem games, but I heard Duke, Duke Nukem forever sucked ass. That's what I heard anyway. <laughs> pinball table. This pin, this, I don't like this day. Yeah. I gotta stop contradicting myself. Angie, stop contradicting yourself. Uh. It got this that pinball right there is the one I don't like. Whatever, I guess. It's still short though. It's still very, very, very short shit. Um, but anyway, uh People bitch about Big being like, oh he's an idiot and I hate his fishing mission. Do I have to explain how much I don't really hate that mission? Really? The fishing in Sonic Adventure 1 is not that bad. You guys just suck at the game. Literally, anyone who says I suck at the, the, fish, the fishing mission is so bad because it's so hard. No, you guys just suck at the game. Literally, if it's a fishing mission, yeah, you guys suck at the game. Because I don't understand. What, what are you guys talking about? The fishing mission's not that bad, really. Yay, free rings. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Cream, are you stuck? She's stuck on a bumper. That was weird. <laughs> but anyway. To be honest, I don't really hate Big. He's okay, I mean. I know people bitch about how the characters suck or something because they have annoying voices or how they suck. How does Big suck again? I mean. So what if he can't fight? He's just a fishing cat. I guess saying I just wanted to experiment with something. I'm not sure, really. I'm tired. I'm talking about shit. I don't know. But anyway, since this is girl power, yeah, yeah. Totally girl power. See, look, there's the there's the gold ring right there. You don't screw it. <laughs> um, but anyway, see, there's the gold ring right there. This level is short. Oh yeah, and when you use uh, their their uh, team blast, you actually become inv invincible for a, for a few for like about a, a minute, maybe maybe thirty seconds. I'm not sure. But yeah, to be honest, uh, kind of super duper happy. But I do admit that line is stupid. But I'm super duper happy. That's stupid. Seriously, that line is so dumb. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna talk about something, cause you know, since I did say this was gonna be a girl power bingo highway again, oh, team science, but short, but shorter and easier. Do I, I'm not gonna explain anything. Right 
Okay, I, I will not lie though. Getting to that top area, I don't. It's harder to get there with Team Rose. I'll say that much. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about something in the meantime. Um. Well, since this is, we're talking, since we're using a girl-powered team, um. Let's talk about this. Um. Okay, when I was a teenage girl, well, any teenage girl, you know how there was this phase of Justin Bieber and bullshit that was going on for a while? Well, I think every girl's had that phase where they actually uh, were like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to this. Isn't he so cute or something like that? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And, well, I admit I had that face, too. I'm not gonna lie. I was a big fan of the Jonas Brothers. More bingo bullshit! And, to be honest, I don't really... They're about the same as Sonic and uh, Tails, really. About the same difficulty, to be honest. I don't find them any that different, really. I mean, I still think Team Darks is slightly easier, though, except with more enemies and more pits, pretty much, but that's about it. But anyway, I'm not done talking about what I was talking about. Um, anyway, I had a phase, of course. I had a phase where I was a big fan of the Jonas Brothers and would listen to the music. Actually, when I was younger, I would also listen to, to kind of dark ish music like i was a big fan of my chemical romance when i was a kid i would reference um emanescence and my chemical romance i would i would reference their i would reference them sometimes unfortunately amy can't wall jump so you gotta do that shit that that's fun that is that's just fun seriously but anyway, if I had to choose my favorite song between in My Chemical Romance, I would have to say Helena. Don't know why. If I did not say that right, I am so sorry. I don't I don't know if it's Helena or Helena or whatever. I suck at pronouncing shit. <laughs> I don't know what that was doing, but okay. Um Woohoo! I guess I don't really care. <laughs> But Bingo Highway is pretty short as well. I am aware that, uh, I am aware that, uh, My Chemical Romance is disbanded. I am aware of it. I'm not stupid, okay. I mean, I do research on my favorite bands, so no worries. <laughs> Even though you can fall off here, it's not as bad because they have all these blocks everywhere and you would have to break them like three times so you'd be able to fall off them. So really, you don't have anything to worry about falling off those, really. You have nothing to worry about, really. You won't fall off. You really won't. With Team Sonic and Team Dark, yeah, you'll fall off. But with Team, with Team Rose, nah, you won't. You won't have any trouble. There's a switch here, and I didn't even know it. I kind of just guessed that, to be honest. I didn't even know there was a switch there. And there's the go ring right there. Usually at that spot right there, there's a checkpoint to reach another bingo with the other teams, to be honest. <laughs> But oh well, what can we do? But oh well, what can we do? But yeah. Every girl that was a teenager, including myself, had a phase of cute boy bands or bo or boys with singing voices phase, I guess. I'm not sure. You guys again? Dr. Eggman! Him again! Past your bedtime, kiddies. Now to tuck you in. Get them. Robot Carnival. With Team Rose, it is without a doubt the easiest. And all the enemies are basic. They are not difficult at all. Like, literally, you can beat, you can beat this easily. I do sometimes get A, Bs or Ds or something. I'm not sure. 
Sometimes I do out of stupidity. Well, it is like 2 in the morning right now. I'm like, nah, baby, sleeping. Right We're ready. We're ready. I'm gonna do this because I'm a lazy bastard. Heck, to be honest, Robot Storm with Team Rose, oh gosh, it is so easy. Seriously, it is it is so easy with Team Rose, Robot Storm. With Team, seriously, with Team Rose, it is so easy. See, like, I'm having a, such an easy time right now. I just, I pretty much just spammed Thundershoot. That's pretty much it. That's all I did. Oh, come on. Like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna take you guys' as bullshit. See, I did that in not even a minute and 30 seconds. Are you freaking kidding me? Man, there sure were lots of them. No, really, the only thing that's kind that's kind of hard with Team Rose are the team battles. Kind of hard. That's only because of Amy's terrible tornado attack. Uh, Rail Canyon. This one can be a little bit tricky for beginners. For beginners, quote unquote. Mmm, I smell soggy. Chocolate Jesus, Chocolate is close. All right, let's go. But yeah, they're still the beginning here with the rails. But do, don't fall off the rails, like, again, always, if you're gonna fall off, yeah. But it's the same thing as Team Sonic, except easier, duh. Um, there's only one dick move, and that's towards the end, and it's still easy, really. This stuff is still easy, you really shouldn't have any trouble. I never did, okay. And there's only two enemies there, so why worry? And I miss, did I just miss that whole freaking ring? I totally did, didn't I? Holy, that was kind of dickish. Haha, <laughs> uh, kind of funny though. It was a little funny, a little dickish, but it was kind of funny. That was a little funny, it was a little bit funny. <laughs> Okay, this is a little bit random. That one is a little bit random. I don't know how that works, but okay. Um, but yeah, Rail Candy is kind of short with Team Rose, kinda. Okay, Seriously. <laughs> this part is kinda the same. This part is kind of the same, but so much easier with Team Rose since there are no trains behind that can throw dick moves at you. Seriously. <laughs> Man, if only Amy could if only Amy could do the light speed dash here. You use the tornado hammer to be able to do the tornado jump. I don't like the tornado hammer. I find it to be incredibly annoying, to be honest. I don't find it that good. Yes, I know this area is dangerous. <laughs> wow, you're right. Unlike uh, all the other power characters where they actually say, leave this to me or I'll take care of this, you have nothing to worry about, Big Ashley kind of acts like a bit of a coward. For a power character, he is pretty a pretty big coward, I'm not gonna lie, he acts, although he, hold on a moment guys. But yeah, anyway, I'm back. Um, my my computer kind of went a little weird. Um, but anyway, unlike uh, that rail could get you if you're not careful. But anyway, uh, 
But yeah, what was I talking about? Those phases, right? Uh, yeah, we all had those uh, girly phases. Well, every girl that I know of, anyway. I mean, I know, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I know girls who are a huge fan of Twilight when I was a teenager. You read the watch Twilight, and I'm, I don't know why. Something about Edward or Jake, I don't know. I don't remember shit. I mean, I don't really care. But, there's a trampoline here. We can actually reach up here, and it's actually safer. So, you know, you don't. Look out. I saw that. Whoa, I got lucky there. I actually got really lucky there. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. That was, pretty, that was pure luck. I wasn't even trying. Again, I'm not trying here. I kind of I just saw that. And hey, I'll count that as luck, I guess. I don't really care. <laughs> like I said, I'm doing this kind of half asleep, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be falling through places a few times. And the gold ring is right there. There you go. See? <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you're if you're on the other rail, you will hit the train. So yeah, I don't do that. You <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, this stage can be a awesome. bit complicated if, if you're like a beginner and you just came here jumping right to it. Then it can be a teeny bit complicated, but only a teeny bit. It's nothing like oh my gosh, horrible. You just gotta be careful. Bullet Station, this one's another one. This, I agree. This one's probably the same. Except this one kind of it starts off the same way Shadows, Teen Dark's level does. It's a little bit strange. But okay. It's a little bit strange. I don't know. I guess it works? I don't know. But anyway, to be honest, I don't like Amy's uh, tornado all that much. I find it a little bit annoying. Oh, I missed it. Eh, it's okay. I'm not, I don't care. Because Team Dark goes through the whole level, while Team Rose only goes through a little bit of it. Yay, free ring. I don't care. <laughs> I'm kind of being lazy right now. There could be a few more and less, way less enemies right in these cannon rooms, which is a little bit. I mean, enemies weren't even hard to begin with, but okay, I guess it works. I don't know. Aw, <laughs> oh, Cream is so cute. I like bunnies. See, watch. Amy can't hang on walls, so that sucks. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I really wish she could, because I would like to have her hanging on a wall. That'd be great. There are no trains coming to pull a dick move, so you don't have anything to worry about. I bet again, Amy's, uh, when she's a level three, she's still just as good as the other characters, so, as the other speed characters, so you don't have anything to worry about. And see, there's nothing to block the way with Team Rose. And guess what? I'm gonna be a cheap bastard because team, because the gold ring's right there. Here we go. All right. You could t you could go down and take the cannon, but if you're good enough, what, just fly over there. Seriously, you don't want to waste all that time by trying to climb up. Seriously, awesome. you don't want to waste all that time trying to climb up for no reason. It's just pointless. To me, it's pointless anyway. But yeah, no. I mean, Rail Canyon Bullet Station can be a teeny bit tricky if you're new to this. If you're new to this, anyway. Something weird in there. Cheese, you'll be reunited with Chocola very Froggy soon. Froggy too. Let's 
get him before Sonic does. Then he'll be head over heels for me. Ready, old cannon. Open fire. This is it. This is the easiest version of this fight. There are less enemies, as you're noticing, of course. And I think it takes less damage to beat him, I think? With Team Rose, I might be wrong about that. I don't know. To be honest, I find all the bosses a lot easier with Team... Ha! <laughs> that was funny, I didn't even, I didn't even, that, was, that wasn't even my intention. See, there are less enemies in certain places. So, you know, that's always nice to know. I mean, I'm gonna get hit every so often, but nothing to the point where I suck ass or something. I mean, I don't really care. Really, I'm kind of not trying. So I'm gonna get hit. I'm playing, like, pretty weak right now. Really, I'm playing kind of weak right now. Well, okay, no, not kind of weak. I'm playing very, very weak. Like I said, I just don't care. strategy really is just to use thunder shoot on him not sure why I don't do that more often but you know whatever <laughs> uh, and you know when you get team blast get team blast blah 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 you know the drill but no seriously this fight personally me is probably the easiest version of the fight to be honest I didn't really have any trouble with it Blah, blah, blah. You can go kill yourself. I don't care. You'll pay for this. I love how the music was playing right when he said that. It was kind of funny. <laughs> Let's go look for Froggy and Chocola now. I still suck at the Egg Albatross, though, even though I didn't really die, but I, I just don't care. <laughs> hey, it's just a stupid copy! Froggy, where are you? Let's go home. Jeez, what's wrong? Oh, a chow! Yes, a chow nappy, but why? I'm not really sure, but betcha Dr. Eggman has something to do with it, and we're not going to let him get away with it. Come on, let's get out of here. Okie dokie. I'm going to end things off here. So next time in Let's Play Sonic Heroes, we'll be continuing on through uh, Team Rose, I guess. This has been Star 291 saying goodbye and see you guys in part 18.